appreciate each and every one of you, and we are always glad to tell you so. You know, as you could see, Physicians Formula has been around for a very long time. We have come a long way. We have lots of new things. We have a lot of new things planned for the future, and it's going to be very exciting for us as well as for you. Physicians Formula is dedicated to our customers, to your customers. We sell the products on a money-back guarantee, and we get the fewest customer returns of anybody in the cosmetic industry. We always back up our products 100%. That means that you can sell them to your customers with confidence and they can buy them from you with confidence because they know Physicians Formula is backing it up if you tell them they sell it on a money back guarantee. We are one of the oldest hypoallergenic lines on the market. We are the most hypoallergenic line on the market. Over 120 ingredients that can cause problems and allergies to the skin have been removed from the line. That makes us the most hypoallergenic line on the market. And many people don't know what hypoallergenic means. And what it means is that every known irritant has been removed from every product in the line. I can see I'm not going to be able to move around with this. It squeaks every time I move. Well, anyway. Now, nothing is non-alert. Hypoallergenic means that every known irritant has been removed from every product in the line but nothing is non-allergic. And now and then you're gonna have somebody that can't use this, that, or the other thing. And don't be surprised, although we get the fewest customer returns of anybody in the cosmetic industry. So the products speak for themselves. But nothing is non-allergic, and once in a while, it, you're apt to find somebody that can't use it, and don't be surprised. Although we're always surprised when we get a customer return. But, the line's also fragrance-free. So for people who are sensitive to fragrance, they can use this line. The line is also non comedogenic That means that it does not clog the pores. The line is pH balanced. And that's good for you to know because neutral on the pH scale is seven. Anything below seven is acid. Anything above seven is alkali. Soaps are very highly alkaline. They start at a pH of 10, and they go up as high as 14, and this keeps the skin thrown totally off balance. And I always listen to my customer, and she gives me a clue as to what she would accept. And we all know that they don't accept everything, even if we know it's exactly what they should have. And I listen to her, and if she says, well, I don't feel clean unless I wash the soap, I'm not going to show her a cleanser that she's got to remove with a tissue. She rejects that. She wants something that lasts. And if she says to me, I never put water on my face, I'm not going to show her a cleanser that she's got to wash off because she don't want to wash it. She wants something that she removes with a tissue. And if she says, I don't put water on my face, we know that she wants something that does remove with a tissue. She does not want to put water on her skin. And when our customer walks into our store, and I know how little time you have, but they only want to know three things in as few words as possible. And that's all the time you have is for a few words. They want to know what the product is, how to use it, and what will it do for them in as few words as possible. So when I talk about the products, this is the way I talk about the products. In as few words as possible to put over the store. So if a lady says to me, I don't feel clean unless I've washed with soap. I have my hands on our deep cleanser. This is a soapless cleanser. It lathers like soap. It flushes out the pores completely. It has no drying effects to the skin whatsoever. It keeps, cleans that skin, squeaky clean. Now for a thin, sensitive skin, we would use it with a soap. Wash in a circular motion, rinse it off with tepid water. If it's a skin that has enlarged pores or blackheads, or even some breaking out, acne, problem skin, we use it with the brush. And then it boils, prefer the brush. It really gets down in those pores and cleans that skin squeaky clean. Rinsed off with tepid water. And I say tepid water because cold water will shock the skin, 
hot water shocks the skin, breaks the little blood vessels that are close to the surface of the skin, and that's permanent damage to the skin. So always rinse anything off the face with tepid water. That means as close to body temperature as possible. People who are allergic to soap can bathe with it because it cleans better than soap and it does not dry the skin. Cleansing lotion. Gentle cleansing lotion is a moisturizing cleanser. Deep cleanser we recommend for the normal, for the combination skin, and for the dry skin several times a week. Now I'm not going to say how often we use anything. Everything that we use should be adjusted to the skin type. Everybody's skin is special. Everybody's skin uses things differently. So always adjust everything that we use to the skin type. Gentle cleansing lotion is a moisturizing cleanser. It can be used on normal skin, combination skin, or dry skin. This is a cleanser that the customer has a choice. If she wants to rinse it off with tepid water, she can do so, or she can remove it with a tissue. Now, when I say tissue, I don't necessarily mean facial tissues because they do have wood fibers in them, and they can and do scratch and irritate the skin. Many times people think they're allergic to something, and it's the tissues that they're using. So, cleansing lotion, a moisturizing cleanser. Moisturizer, just like a moisturizer. See, I don't think this is working. <laughs> Gentle cleansing cream is a lubricating cleanser. This is for that dry and very dry skin. The lady that says, I never put water on my face. This is the kind of cleanser that she wants. It's a rich, lubricating cleansing cleanser that cleanses very deeply, flushes those impurities to the surface of the skin, and we remove it with the tissue are an old tack. is a must. Now, before I talk about moistures, I want to say just what I said about people that say their makeup turns on. Or that after they've had their makeup on for a while, it just goes away. They started that makeup with a moisture that's too long. But moisture is a must for all skin types. Even oily and problem skin should use moisturizer. They use one that's completely oil free. Now for normal combination and dry skin, our lightest moisture lotion is gentle moisture lotion. It's light, it absorbs right into the skin, it leaves no oily film on the skin surface. So for that part, person that says their makeup turns orangey or it disappears during the day, this is the type of moisture that they need because it won't leave that oily film on the skin surface. And for people that use face powder. If a person uses face powder, she wants a matte finish makeup. She don't want a shiny look. So you don't want to sell her a moisture that's going to leave a shiny look on the skin because you know that she wants a matte finish makeup. So this one, for people that use face powder, gentle moisture lotion. Extra rich, rehydrating moisture lotion is for that lady that likes the moist, dewy look and she does not use face powder. It can be normal skin, combination skin, dry skin, extra dry skin, can be used by all those people. And for that lady that does not use face powder, if she says she doesn't use face powder, you know she wants the moist dewy look and extra rich rehydrating moisture lotion will give her that look. Deep moisture cream. This is a very, very rich cream. And naturally, creams, because they have more substance, they are rich in lotions. This is recommended for the dry and very dry skin. And it's rich enough for the normal skin to use as an overnight treatment if they don't like to go to bed with any oil on the skin. This absorbs right into the skin. It leaves no oily film on the skin surface. So again, for the lady that has dry and very dry skin and that uses face powder. Deep moisture cream. Day and night moisturizer is in a tube so that it's easy to travel with. It can be used on the face and on the throat 
but it also can be used as a hand body lotion. It's very rich. It absorbs right into the skin and leaves no oily foam on the skin surface. Day and night moisture cream. So to review the moistures for normal, combination, dry and extra dry skin, gentle moisture lotion, very light, normal, combination, and slightly dry skin, under makeup and daytime, absorbs right into the skin, leaves no oily foam on the skin surface. Extra rich rehydrating moisture lotion for the lady that does not use face powder. Normal combination, dry and very dry skin. If the lady likes a moist dewy look, this is the one. This leaves an avoidant film on the skin surface for the lady that likes the moist dewy look. Deep moisture cream, very rich moisture cream, rich enough for the normal skin to use overnight. It absorbs right into the skin, leaves no oily foam on the skin surface for the lady that uses face powder. But this one also, because it does absorb into the skin, she can use it even if she doesn't use face powder. Day and night moisture cream in the tube for travel and to be used also as a hand and body cream. A very rich cream. And when you put this on, and I remember when we first came out, with it, I said to the ladies, I said, this rich moisture cream takes off five years the minute you apply it. And one lady said to me, I'll take two tubes because I'm going to take off ten. <laughs> <laughs> five is all you get. <laughs> beautiful moisture. In fact, we have a beautiful line of cosmetics. We're very proud of our products. That's why we sell them on a money back guarantee. Enriched dry skin concentrate. This is for all skin types. Overnight treatment is rich in avocado oils, has vitamins A, D, and E. Those are the three skin vitamins, and what their function is is to maintain a healthy, youthful skin. Enriched dry skin concentrate. Now, we also have people that use this underneath their makeup. So we have products that can be used by many people in many ways, depending on what the customer wants to achieve. This will leave a moist dewy look on the skin. So if she likes the moist dewy look, this may be just exactly what she's looking for. Basically, it's an overnight treatment, a moisturizing overnight treatment with vitamins A, D, and E. Our collagen products, and we do have group collagen products, for the ladies that prefer collagen and elastin in their treatment creams. And we start to lose our collagen and elastin at age 20, and it's down here with the minimum. <laughs> but we do have collagen and elastin products for the people that prefer them. The lotion is for underneath makeup in daytime. It will leave us a, a slight emollient film on the skin surface. So this would be for the lady that doesn't use face powder. The collagen cream, naturally, richer than the lotion, being in cream form. This is the overnight treatment for the person who wants collagen and elastin treatment. Our night eye cream. Eye cream. We can't start to use it soon enough. Under the eyes is the very first place that we get lines. We do more to destroy the skin underneath our eyes than any other place on our body or on our face. I mean, we pull and tug on that area. It has no bone under it. So it's the first place we get lines, and we should treat it with care, and we can't start soon enough to treat it with care. We should always apply eye cream before anything. And we should always use this weakest finger so that we do the least amount of damage. And the way to properly apply it is to start next to the nose, upper, over the eye, pat over the eye, and pat. Don't rub, don't pull, pat, and pat under the eye into the nose. That way you don't stretch the skin. Then moisture goes on over that if it's in daytime. Night treatment goes over that if it's at night. 
Now, the selling point on the eye cream is that it does not cause puffiness around the eyes. It's a very rich, it absorbs and softens beautifully. Eye cream always works. Doesn't cause puffiness around the eyes. Now, you know, some night, cream, uh, night treatments can cause puffiness around the eyes. So you can put your eye cream on first, and that protects you from night creams that can cause puffiness around the eyes. Our richest night treatment is our nourishing night cream. It was our very first lubricating night treatment in the line. This one was developed in the beginning in 1937 when Dr. Crandall developed the line. So it's a very rich, very lubricating night treatment for the dry and for the very dry skin. For that lady that wants to feel that treatment cream on her skin when she goes to bed. Nourishing night cream. A very unique product in our physician's formula line is the Lord This helps to correct the dry skin problem. We can use it in many ways. If we've been overexposed to the elements, whether it be the sun, the wind, water, or whatever, we're feeling especially dry. We can apply the ammonia oil to the face and to the throat, to the hands, arms, any place on the body, and work it into the skin with water. And for the lady that doesn't like to go to bed with any oil on her skin at night, she can work it right into her skin with water. We can use it after bath, apply directly to wet skin, or on a wet washcloth. It takes a very small amount of it to cover the whole body. It will eliminate a scaly legging on problem in one application applied directly to wet skin. Now the water off and put the clothes right We had a lady right here in Las Vegas, and I wonder if she's with us tonight, who had the husband that had the dry scale problem, and she tried everything on him. Nothing worked. She tried all the dander products. Nothing worked. So in desperation, she just saturated his scalp with ammonia oil, left it for a while, shampooed it off, and it shampooed out perfectly, and he hasn't had the problem since. He didn't have that. He had a dry scalp problem. And in areas like this, this happens to a lot of people. So remember ammonia oil for that person that has this problem, because it does work. And for the face, hands, and body, any place, more than it corrects dry skin in a hurt. Our invigorating facial mask does not overstimulate the skin. You know, facial masks are one of the very worst offenders for overstimulating the skin. That means that it breaks those little blood vessels that are close to the surface of the skin. And many people have this problem with those little blood vessels close to the surface. So they should never use makeup in our line in a very light makeup. Use a light coverage. We especially recommend it as a first introduction to makeup. It is portrait makeup, moisturizes, gives a light coverage, evens out the skin tone. We have a totally oil-free makeup for the oily and for the problem skin. This contains no oil at all. It is a matte finish makeup. Now say, for instance, people with a problem skin that don't need any makeup with oil, but they want coverage, we can let one application of the oil-free makeup dry and add another application. Oil-free, oil-controlled makeup. It helps to control that oil during the day. And if we use the proper products on the skin, we can return the skin to its normal balance if we use those products properly. So, our oily problem skin line, and sometimes a person will get drunk, and they have to alternate back with the cleanser and for refining skin fresh. If they come back and say, gee, I'm getting dry using these products, then they alternate back and forth with deep cleanser and deep cleansing gel to keep that skin normal. We have two makeups with sunshades. And keeping the sun off the skin is the most important thing 
that we can do for ourselves in our lifetime to look our best. The sun is the most damaging, the most aging thing that we do to the skin. And these days, there is no excuse whatsoever for getting sun damage because we have the products to prevent. And if we start to use the sun shield soon enough, and we should start with the children, never let them get blistered because once they get blistered, they could become allergic to the sun. And what most people don't realize is that sun damage is cumulative. The very first suntan that we ever get works on our body our whole life through. That's why when we overexpose, we, <coughs> later in years, we get brown spots, and we get freckles, and we get skin cancer. And, that's, and we look older than the person that doesn't expose to the sun. In California, you can spot the people that live at the beach. You don't have to ask them that they live at the beach. You can tell by looking at their skin that they live at the beach and that they haven't done anything to protect that skin from the damaging rays of the sun. But these days, we can do it. And thank goodness that we can. We have a makeup that is a number 15 sun shield. That means a sun protection factor of 15. That means that you could stay out 15 times longer than you could without it before you get any sun damage. This one gives a light coverage. This is for the person that's got a good skin and they want to keep it that way. We're going to wear makeup. We should wear one that's going to do something for us. These sun shield makeups are going to do something. Not only today, but 20 years from today. Sunshield makeup gives a light coverage for the person that has a good skin and wants to keep it that way. Now for the rest of us that have all of these little things that we need to hide and cover up, we have the velvet film. There's nothing comparable at any price on the market Two positions formula, the velvet film. This gives complete coverage and total protection from the damaging rays of the sun. Plastic surgeons recommend this after plastic surgery for their patients because they can have no exposure to the damaging rays of the sun for at least a year. So this is the makeup they tell them to use. It protects the skin from the damaging rays of the sun it prevents freckling, blistering, brown spotting, and tanning in the sun. It's waterproof, so it doesn't wash off in water. We go in the pool, come out, blot the water off. We still have the makeup and the protection from the sun. It is a beautiful makeup. It covers. It makes the skin look porous. And the way I always demonstrate the velvet film, I put it right on the end of their nose. They can see how it blends with their skin tone, and it makes their nose look porous, and you've got a customer. And once they get it on, they're never going to change. So they're going to keep coming back, coming back, because there's nothing that will do as much for the skin, as far as the sun is concerned, than physicians formula the them. Now we have perfect application for it in our new cream makeup sponge. The pink one or the white one we use to apply it. The pink one we use for blending. And it's thin so that you can get in the corner of the eyes, you can get under the lashes, blend under the chin line into nothing. Can be used with or without powder. In fact, all of our makeups can be used with or without powder. But there's only one way to make a makeup last all day, and that's to set it at the beginning of the day with a loose face powder. But before I talk about our powders, I want to talk about our concealers. Because there's people that have dark circles, red blotches on the skin. They have things that they really need to cover, like a birthmark. So we would want to apply after moisture, before our makeup, gentle cover concealer. 
that lets it dry a little bit in between applications. And that's the best way to get good coating with a waterproof mesh cap. Go back and apply to the other and continue to do it back and forth until you get as many coats as you like. Also on the lower lashes. And to prevent any um, smearing, we should always powder underneath the lashes before we start to put mascara on the lower lashes. Naturally, if you've got moisture, any eye cream, anything that's oily underneath those eyes and you put on mascara, unless it's a water base, it'll have a tendency to transfer and smooth. I mean, this is just common sense it's going to, unless you've got a matte finish underneath that eye, which you can achieve by putting loose face powder underneath the eye. We have beautiful pencils, and don't let a customer get away if she brings in a pencil that's so old that you can't see who made it. <coughs> because nine times out of 10, you can fill that pencil with your physician's formula refill. We have refills. We've started many a customer on the line by filling her pencil with our physician's formula refill. We have good shades. Our charcoal is not blue. It's a true charcoal shade. Our brown beige shade is a perfect shade for blondes. It has no red in it. It's a light ash blonde shade. We have a blue, by the way. It blue is an eye brightener. It makes the whites of the eyes look whiter if we line the lower lid with blue. We have a new pencil that we're very proud of great shades. This goes on like velvet. It is waterproof. It can be used as shadow or liner and it comes in beautiful shades and the price is right. This price is comparable to the most reasonable <coughs> one you've got in the department plus the fact that it's hypoallergenic, which means a heck of a lot. And sooner or later, you know, people use more and more things all the time. And the more they use, the more they're, become a, they're going to become allergic. Because we have an allergy level to everything. And the more we use things, and you have people say to you, I can't be allergic to it, I've been using it for 10 years. All the more reason she can be allergic to it because she's overused it. And I've had people say to me, well, I can't use physician's formula, I'm not allergic. Well, if she's not allergic and she uses it, she's not gonna become allergic. So it's a preventative as well as a corrective. You'd be surprised at how many people have said that to me. So I always like to pass this on to you in case somebody hits you with it. Or sooner or later they will. <laughs> we talked about under eye covers. We also have a white. Now white is great for highlighting underneath the eyes for people that wear glasses. Of course there's many things that people do with whites as you see on television but it's a very effective highlighter for people that wear glasses. Just sponge it on with one of our applicators, the sponge, the shadow applicator, or the cream makeup applicator, and blend it down, and it highlights the eyes beautifully for people that wear glasses. I'll just review briefly our accessories the brush cleanses deep for anyone that doesn't have a sensitive thin skin. The shadow applicators that we talked about, we can wash these. Just be careful that you don't pull them off the stick. But they're washable and we should have extra applicators because the applicator that's in that shadow is not going to last as long as that shadow. No way. Because our shadows last forever, like our blushers. So these are washable. Cream applicators for applying the velvet film, the white one, the pink one is for blending anything that you need to blend, whether it be eyeshadow, uh, mascara, not mascara, but makeup, or whatever the case may be. And our powder, blush or brush, a fine blush, and I prefer a fat brush to a fine blush. It just gives a better <coughs> It gives a more even coverage than those little brushes that come with the blush. 
and for uh, applying powder, brush down. Makeup applicators, liquid makeup, there's 12 in the pack now, so we don't have to overuse them until they crumble. And our sponge, we use this for everything. Some people use this for applying their makeup. We don't say they can't because they can, if they prefer. And but we especially recommend it for deep cleansers, and deep pore cleansing gel, our lathering cleanser. And of course we have our powders also now, so that they can be put on the face. <laughs> Lipsticks, you know there's two problems in the lipstick business. Either the customer will say to us, every lipstick I use dries and cracks and peels my lips. Or she says, every lipstick I use changes color. <coughs> a customer for a hypoallergenic lipstick. These lipsticks do not change color and they correct the dry and crack. They have none of the things in them that the lipsticks do that cause these problems. They contain no lanolin and no castor oil and no fragrance, among other things. And as I said, we have over 120 ingredients removed from the line that can cause problems with the skin. And you have one of those sheets, and it's good to keep it in your store. If a customer comes in, she's not allergic to so-and-so, you've got your sheet on physician's formula that will tell her whether it's in there or not. And if it's on that sheet, it's not in there. Beautiful lipsticks, we have frost, we have glosses, and we have cream. We specialize in sunblock products. As you've heard me <coughs> speak about sunblock products, we can talk all day about sunblock products and keep them the damaging rays of the sun off the skin. And the only <coughs> time that we're not getting the damaging rays of the sun is if we're in a room with no windows. And I know you've had people say, I never get out in the sun. And you want to say, well, how'd you get here? in her car or whatever, she was exposed to the damaging rays of the sun. That's the rays that come right through the clouds on a cloudy day. It's out there all the time, except dark, and in a room with no windows. We have a new sun shield lotion this year that we're very proud of. It's for faces. It's a cream and a tube. It's a sun protection factor of 23. It not only can be used on the face, on the hands and arms, the neck, wherever we need to use sun shield lotion. This can be used underneath makeup. If you're wearing a makeup that has no sun shield, this is the one. Of course, if you're using the velvet film or sun shield makeup, you don't need to use sun shield <coughs> makeup, but you'd want to put it on your throat, on your hands and arms. It's a rich cream, but it doesn't leave an oily film on the skin surface. This is a beautiful moisturizer that can be used <coughs> underneath makeup. If you're not wearing makeup, you can use it in the place of makeup. In other words, sun shield, regardless of where, whether you're wearing makeup or not, this would be the one for the face. We also have a new one this year for children. And these tubes are wonderful to carry around in your handbag, in your car, and so forth. And naturally, being in cream form, they're richer than lotions. Lotions are a lighter weight. Creams have more things that will hold it on the skin, being in cream form. For the faces, for the children. Now, sun shields should be applied 30 minutes in advance of exposure to give maximum protection. Children, and we're talking about starting them early by having sun shields for children. This is a number 20. It should be applied 30 minutes in advance of exposure. Let it dry on the skin. That way it doesn't pick up the sand and the dirt. It's also waterproof. The sun shields have no fragrance. And having um, fragrance on the skin and exposed to the sun, it causes brown spots. <laughs> And people that <coughs> come in and want something for their liver spots, they're not liver spots. There's no such thing as liver spots. They're sun spots caused from overexposure to the damaging rays of the sun. 
So children, waterproof, doesn't pick up sand and dirt, a number 20 sun protection factor. That means they can stay out 20 times longer than they could without. <coughs> Our moisturizing formula, the one with the purple label, this is the lotion. This was our first one. This leaves an emollient film on the skin surface. It is for the dry skin, the purple label. It's a number 25 sun shield factor. That means you can stay out 25 times longer than you could without it before you get any damage. Our oil free that the dermatologist recommends to their patients. Dermatologists don't recommend products with oil in them to their patients. They demanded that we have an oil free sunshine lotion and that's why we have it and we do a great job with it. We also recommend this one for men that work outside they work with machinery or drive the car or whatever, that your hands don't slip off of the steering wheel when you want to drive the car. That usually this is the one I use because I just put it on before I get in the car to drive all over Los Angeles. So this absorbs right into the skin and leaves no oily film whatsoever on the skin. This adds no oil to the skin. So this is the one for oily and problem skin. It is also a number 25 sun protection factor. We have have a free. This is for all those people whose dermatologists used to tell them to use PAVA. And they used PAVA and so they became allergic to PAVA. And now their doctor tells them don't use anything with PAVA. So we have a PAVA free number <coughs> sun shield lotion. This one is also waterproof and it has no alcohol in any of our sun shield products and no fragrance. Alcohol is also very bad, exposed to the damaging rays of the sun. So, none of them have alcohol or fragrance. We also have a swimmers. This will last 80 <coughs> minutes in water. Should be applied 30 minutes in expo uh, before exposure. In other words, say we're, we know we're going to be overexposed. We're going to the ball game. We're going to Disneyland. Well, there's no way you're not going to be overexposed if you do these outside activities. So you know you're going to be overexposed, so you apply 30 minutes in advance, let it absorb into the skin, and that way it gives you more protection. But after 80 minutes in water, it must be reapplied. Waterproof sun shield lotion number <coughs> one. We also have this year an aftercare. This is an intensive treatment for after overexposure to the damaging rays of the sun. In other words, if somebody gets a blister, this is an intensive treatment to use right away to help to heal it and to help to prevent flaking and peeling after. This is a great hand and body lotion also, whether you're overexposed to the sun or water or detergents or whatever the case may be. This is a great antibody lotion. Lip care is a little treasure that we have a new counter display as you can see here. This is a little permanent counter display. This is never to be confused with any lip product that you have in your store. This is a lip treatment for the entire family. This helps to heal cold sores. It helps to correct the dry lip problem. It protects the lips from the elements, whether it be wind, sun, or water. It can be used underneath the lipstick to prevent it changing color. If you're not using a hypoallergenic lipstick, many times your lipstick will change color. You can prevent that and correct the dry lip problem with lip care. I put it on before I put on any lipstick. I must put it on 12 times a day. First thing in the morning when I get up, the last thing before I go to bed is lip care. And we want these fellas that are here tonight to have a lip care because then they'll know that they don't ever want to use one of those other products again. This is the one. Lip care. Corrective treatment for dry lips. For the entire family. It's been fun. I just love to tell you about my products. And you've been wonderful, as you always are. And I thank you very much 
and it's so good to see you. Now we're going to have a little break, and let's take a break for about 10 minutes. They should just have some water and, and